men, these modern women will know that a prophet was amongst them. Isaiah 4 and 1, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rabbi Chakodash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this truth through the Spirit. Single honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and confusion the faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. <clears throat> this is a spiritual hit. As you can see on the screen, um, I saw this on my um, subscription feed from the brother Azana Moff, the truth. The brother, um, subscribe to that brother. He has. Um, he has some great content on his own page. But nonetheless, though, the fact of the matter is that what we've been speaking about for the longest is not only coming to pass, but it's coming to pass fast. You know, like the women being very boastful and full of pride and thinking they don't need a man, like the scripture says, you know, where there is no where there is no hedge, there, you know, the spoils are taken. And the hedge is the man. And the spoils would be you women. We, because America has not been invaded, so to say. You women don't understand what it's like to have a foreign nation or enemy to invade your land and then to take you captives. But now, here it is, people who you thought you, you could trust, that you knew, taking advantage of you. And this is a story, well, this is a pretty much um, confession from a woman, as you can see on the screen, but I'm going to read it, pretty much what she say. Um, I'm going to try my best to be PC here. But here we go. She said, I'm, I'm going to read it the way she um, presented it. Them Hebrew Israelite niggas, that's what she said, was right this whole time. I got graped by my brother's friends when the power went out. When I told the police, they said, oh, well, leave before we grip you nets. I, I got to just say it, y'all. Nigger bitch. Ladies, Listen. Joshua's trouble is Jacob's trouble. Joshua's trouble is real. Get you a Hebrew Israelite man, suck his thing. It says something else. Start with a D. Lick his toes. Worship that man by any means possible. You gotta get put on his team or we gonna die out here. Hashtag hunting for fringes. Hashtag where they at though. Hashtag Hebrew man. Hashtag I don't wanna be a bad bitch no more. Wow. <laughs> so, and like I said, whether or not this is true or not, this is what she put up. You can see her picture, and you can see her face. And in that picture, she taking the picture like most of the women do, with their backside towards the camera, turning their head, looking at themselves. Well, lo and behold, this is what you put yourself in. And she looks young, probably in her late twenties. I mean, I'm sorry, early twenties, late teens. And it looks like she's in her prime. She looked ripe. I'm just going to say that. But nonetheless, this is Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be in a hiding place from the wind, in a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So in other words, we're going to be more precious than fire gold in that day. My last precept, Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. With that being said, pray was edifying and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamashallah. Waffle of a ball. Shalom.